Hello and welcome to Anno 1800. So I picked this game up in the Steam Winter Sale because I've heard very good things about it and it seems like it'd be something that'd be right up my alley. I had a bit of free time last night so I spent a little bit of time just seeing if I was enjoying it and I, I, I got really into it and I wanted to play a lot more and as always the only way I can really play a lot of a game is if I actually record it and have an excuse to play it. So here we are. So as you can see I don't have any of the additional content. I had a little bit of a look on some of the subreddits and the suggestion was not to get all that stuff to start with until you get a good grasp of how the game works. So hopefully that won't come back and bite me. So we're going to hit new game. We're going to do campaign. Oh, I apologize, by the way, for the slightly black bars on either side of the recording. I don't know why it's doing it. The game is running in full screen in a proper aspect ratio. I, I can't seem to stop it from doing that. I've tried a whole bunch of things in the recording software, and it's something to do with the game. It's a bit weird, but they're very minimal, so hopefully you uh, won't notice them or won't bother you too much. So we're going to do a campaign, obviously, get a little bit of story going. Uh, we're going to do more guidance, because I am still a newcomer to Anno. Uh, we're going to choose a portrait. Who do we want? Who do we want? Hmm. I quite like this guy, actually. I don't know if that's like the default one. But I like him. He looks good. Uh, what do we want as a logo? What do we want as a logo? This is all about, it's like, essentially it's like a, a resource trading game, right? Maybe not the Lord of the Rings tree. <laughs> oh, uh, octopus, get on. Yeah, and we'll do it in orange, of course, because that is our colour. Uh, hillbilly tre- oh, perfect. Yep, hillbilly trelly. That's what we're going with. <laughs> I'm not even going to consider changing that. That is ideal. We're going to go with normal. Definitely not with advanced or expert, because I am definitely not there. Right, here we go then. So like I said, I've played, uh, well, my Steam playtime was 57 minutes. I probably did about 50 minutes of the game yesterday. So we'll probably get up to about where I was in this video. And then uh, everything after that will be brand new and exciting. So I'm hoping I've learned a few lessons on sort of laying out the, the city and everything. Let's set sail. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, mm -hmm. yet one scribbled from your Screw sister my father. changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Saying I'm work shy, are you? I don't like that much. Dynamite oh, fish. because the mouse is over the other way. You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. So I've got to say, for a, a city builder game, and one that's been out for a little while as well, it looks absolutely Still beautiful. All those sort of close panning shots over there through the foliage with the animals and stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Oh, I keep doing this. So it doesn't use WASD to move around. It's the arrow keys. It confuses me immensely. So we need to go over here to get some dynamite. Here it is. Just get plenty of distance on the throw. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Let's head over to these lovely little fish. And then we've got our dynamite down here. We could actually read the letter from my sister, I suppose. That might be helpful. Or can we? Oh, I just threw it overboard. No, don't do that. Pick it up. Can we please pick it up? It's because I've got the ship selected. There we go. <laughs> it's hard to read. So we can't even read it. Okay, let's uh, let's go fishing in the best way possible. Press the wrong button. Left click to throw the dynamite. Boom! Nailed it. What the chimichurri was that boom? The chimichurri. Love it. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Who doesn't love blistered fish, right? Even more roasted fish. All the blistered fish they could ever want. You already said that, I can't. 
Right, let's head over to here. What is this place? It is the Packet Steamer Office. The property of the Grumpy Ticket Agent. <laughs> I told you drifters before. Rum don't grow on trees. No, sugarcane, right? Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. I do love a ticket agency where you can just take burnt fish and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll Give take that. Tickets. Hurry, take some tickets. The boat is leaving soon and nobody wants you to miss it. Oh, I don't think I'm very well liked here. I don't know where we're going. Oh, we're not going anywhere. Okay, it's just going straight into a cutscene. Sweet, let's move the mouse cursor out of the way. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. Who needs paradise, right? You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deep... I feel like it needs a little horn blast. <laughs> For a second, I thought the shadow of the ship on the, uh, the sand underneath us was like a whale coming across or something. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. I love stole away a tiptoe as a uh, treason. As a phrase. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by? Am terrorizing no gentle father is in dungeon. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. In dungeoned as well. Lovely language. Beautiful. And a beautiful transition from the tropical seas of paradise to the murky seas of the old world. Dearest sibling, I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Again, the detail on the buildings and everything, and the little horse and carts running around. I really can't overemphasize how impressed I am with how the game looks. All those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Back just in time for the funeral. Excellent. Who doesn't love a good funeral, right? Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done. With we do have a particularly picture. impressive crypt for our family. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. If you couldn't tell by his morose look and his very annoying voice, I don't think we're supposed to like Edward very much. We shall. Dear the uncle who stole our father's fortune, and I'm, I'm either our father was a traitor or Edward set him up. If, it, if he wasn't a traitor, it's definitely Edward's fault, right? Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. You know it. This is it. Ditchwater. Ditchwater. Love the captain's voice. I hope you like it quiet. I like the fact that it's like, I bought an island. It's, oh, we're going to have to go there. There's not, It's literally just across the bay. You could literally throw a stone at it from the uh, other city. What is it called? Brightwater? Or something like that, wasn't it? A Tale of Two Brothers. Ah, oh, I did it again. That's WASD again. I should change the key bindings, but if I, I've already... Because um, I played a bit yesterday. <laughs> if I do, I'll just be doing the same thing and I'll get myself confused again. So we went from Brightwater or whatever it was over there, looking beautiful. Maybe not this bit. Uh, and we're in Ditchwater. Not quite as nice. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. 
we will. So this is where we're going to build our empire over here. So this is sort of our starter build there. There's a few things that need to be cleared, but we can't do them until we have more people to demolish the ruins. Uh, we have a few resources around, so there's some clay over there. There's some zinc over there, and over here we have some iron. What else do we have? Some coal, oil springs. It's a very resource-rich area. My, my sister got a good bargain with this, I suspect. More clay, limestone, copper. Limestone, I mean, yeah, what a, what a wonderful purchase this was. Good job, sister. So, first things first, we need a marketplace. And we're going to need some roads. So I'm going to just pop this along there. I'm not sure why it turns into a proper paved road when it hits that point there. Obviously, that's the exit and entrance to the, um, whatever they call this. What do they call this? The small trading post. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. You can build better roads later on, but we don't have access to that yet. Anyway, so we're going to just stick a road going, like, right up here. And one going right up here, because that's going to be, like, our central thoroughfare area. Uh, we need a marketplace. Which doesn't quite fit in there. We can rotate it around so it does. Rotate is uh, clicking in the mouse wheel. Took me a little while to figure that out. Do we want it right by the... No, I think we want it a little bit up, don't we? Let's put it a little bit up. So we'll pop that down there, I think. And of course we need some housing to try and attract people. Currently we have uh, no population. Not ideal, is it? So I figure we will... We might want to put a road along there. So I think we'll put some houses in down there. Is that five? Wasn't counting. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five. We have now reached the age of agriculture. Excellent. We can select a residence and observe how farmers slowly moved in because we fulfilled their need for a market. Oh, Edward, just leave me alone, mate. Some futile attempt at competition. It's a futile attempt to make you look like a clot. Yeah, clot. That's what I went with. That fantastical funeral falls to you. Oh, you slimy monkfish. Miserly, uncharitable dastard. Oh, dastard. Oh, I like that. I like that. So we can see here we have a need for a market that has been fulfilled by this marketplace just here. They also have a basic need for fish and clothes, which we have access. We don't have access to fish yet. We need 50 farmers. We need to hit the 50 farmers to do that. Currently, we have two in each house. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, right, so we need to get some lumber up and going. I'll probably go over this way. I don't think it matters whether it's near trees or not. It only matters whether you have... Oh, it does. It does go up. Is that based on the trees nearby? No. So I'm not sure what the relation between the num the percentage and the number of trees is. It does, I believe, plant its own trees. Like, it can't be... Is that how many trees it can plant if you put it there, perhaps? We will be clearing this at some point, which will help us out. Um, I figure we'll put it we don't want to overlap with any of the buildings. So we'll put it... There's a 29 there. We'll put it at the 29 then. See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Oh! Samuel's child don't know what just happened. I don't know where I built that. Heavens. So Mr. Edward Good speaks of bold new era for Good and Sons. Nobly bearing the burden, the terrible traitor brother trotted at his door. Ah, oh, what else have we got? Traitor dies mysteriously, in, or we died mysteriously in prison before trial. So we're not even a traitor. It was never proved. Empire rocked by sale of strategic island prosperity. Young queen facing major crisis thanks to Samuel Good's act of treason. Unconfirmed treason. Anyway. We have our uh, Every article in his favor, lumberjack hut down over there. Expense. So we need to put a sawmill down. If we put the sawmill over here, you can see that well, impacks the percentage. Because you're taking up space that it needs. But we can state. put the sawmill in and just here. And it's outside of the sphere of influence so there. So let's pop that down the there. Off. So it's pretty close to it. It's about as close as we can get without impacting it. Try not to think of the coffin. 
We can now clear this ruined district. So if we just click this. Oh, it's this one we need to get rid of first. Okay. Just click it and the bar will go up and clear it all for us. Wonderful. Thank you. We also need a warehouse. Is so that's been cleared. And it's dropped us some planks. Lovely. Is that what we it's refer to them as planks? We refer to them as timber. We should cater to our tired timber. People. Let's drop some timber for us. Uh, so we need to build a small warehouse. Which we can't quite fit in there. So can we get it in here? Hmm. If we put it here, it'll be in line with the road. I suppose I could rotate it. Oh no, it's just square all the way around. So which way do we think is the front? That one, with the steps, that makes sense. Let's pop that down there and we'll just move this road up here. Yeah, Excellent. Promises to be kept. Thank you. We now need to build a fishery. What are you complaining about? Missing goods. Well, you are planting the forest, so it's on its way. It's on its way. When we can get rid of this, that should improve the, that logging uh, lumberjack as well. So, fish. So we can put this right next to our... And it, I love the way that it um, like joins up the dock look. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I suppose we want it there, so it lines up with the road at the back. So we'll put the fishery down there. Pop a road in along there. Beautiful. There's nothing else as part of that production chain. It is just fish. Wonderful. The fish need their own... I suppose they'll use this as a trade... As a um, warehouse, won't they? You can see them moving all the goods along. Look. I don't know. I assume those are boxes of fish, perhaps? We need to attract more farmers. We currently have a surplus of 10. Um, fish will be on its way soon, which will increase the amount of farmers we have in there. Oh, something just happened. I don't know what that is. Profile level? Did we just go up a level? I don't know. We have a balance of minus 100 at the moment. Not ideal. Are we getting our fish yet? Right, let's speed things up a little bit. We are starting to fulfill fish. Excellent. What are you complaining about? Missing goods. Well, I suppose they're still planting over. They are starting to generate, so they are starting to take the goods along. There they come, look. An important thing that gets mentioned later, I'll actually just slow it down a little bit, is to pay attention to the production times. So this produces wood every 15 seconds, and this produces timber every 15 seconds. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio. That will not always be the case going forward, so we need to pay a bit of attention to that. Right, the farmers are going up. We've almost fulfilled the fish requirement. A little bit more fish in from the fishery should help us solve that. I think it's just gone up a bit more. There it is. It's green now. Are we going to get any more farmers coming in? Or are we going to, be, are we going to get eight in each by the look of it? So not quite enough to get the... Uh, and it won't go up and fill the rest of it unless the requirements are filled in. It's a mistake I made in my other game where I was like, well, there's space there. And they've got everything they need that I can do, so I'm just going to let them go. And that, that's not how it worked. So we need to build some more houses. So let's build some more farmer residences on this side. And then we'll pop a road in along here. Connect that up. Connect that up there. Excellent. And we can't go too far with the houses on this side because of the sphere of influence there. We might have to fit one more in, perhaps. Let's have a little look. Oh, we can, actually. But then the roads are going to be a bit... I suppose we could put a road in just to those two that are unconnected on the left there. Might not hurt if we stick the road all the way up there. We'll think about that. We'll think about that. So we should be attracting some more farmers now. 90. There's only two in them at the moment. They're still waiting for some more fish. Do we need more fish coming out? What are our fish stocks like? We've got nine fish, so that's not bad, actually. So it might just be that it's still waiting for, like, the transport routes to be set up to and from them. To oh, there we go. We can now clear the other Let's market, uh, the other place. abandoned district. Not that one. That one up there. There it is. The abandoned market district. We are now a village. Yay. Being a village means we can now produce schnapps. Very important for a village. And work clothes. And if we look back at the residences, work clothes are the other requirement for the farmhouses. 
So we need to sustain zero seven or oh, a seventy percent of schnapps supply for one minute. Attract one hundred and fifty farmers and build a pub. And we don't have access to the pub yet because we need one hundred and fifty farmers first. So that will come. That will come. Let's clear up this wood. It's going to extend this road up here so it's at least matching that one over there. Uh, we can now move multiple objects at once. Uh, I don't think I want to, so that's fine. That's fine. We peop our people need new clothes and we need schnapps. If we do new clothes, it means we can attract more farmers without building more houses. So let's have a look at that first. Ornaments can be found. Excellent. Yep. So we need to get a sheep farm up and running. And then build work clothes. So the sheep is... It produces wool every 30 seconds and work clothes every 30 seconds. Excellent. So I think what I might do is bring a road in over here. So it's parallel with the one going over there. Because the sheep farm also have this sphere of influence, but doesn't work quite the same way as the lumber mill. But I want to put it a little bit out of the way, because we don't want sheep right next to the residences, do we? So I might put it like here. Look into your people's faces. And the way the farms work is if you select them once you've placed them, it tells you how many fields you need. So we need three sheepfold livestock areas. And you can just place these around your... Um, around your building. So I think we'll put one there, one there, and one there, as long as they're within this sphere of influence. So that's our sheep farm going. We now need to get the... Excuse me. We now need to get the uh, framework knitters to actually make the clothes. And this doesn't matter if it goes right next to the farm, as long as it doesn't... Obviously, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it goes within its sphere of influence, is what I'm trying to say there. So we'll pop that one down right next to it. No reason not to. And I will give them their own warehouse as well. And I'm going to put that right there. It's just going to save them from having to run all the way over there or down to the trading area. Happiness is impacted by many factors. For example, the access to luxury goods. Find all factors in the residence menu, which we already saw. I think, oh no, it's not. It's this over here, look. So they have basic needs of marketplace fish and clothes. And their happiness is related to having schnapps and a pub. <laughs> Farmers. Uh, so we have a potato farm and schnapps distillery. They're 30 second to 30 seconds, so it's a one to one. So let's pop a potato farm down here, I think. Opposite the sheep farm. That makes sense to me. And then we need to put down 72 tiles. Which is quite large, actually. I'd very much like it to be... Um... Land can only be farmed if there are enough fields. Yeah, I'm well aware. Give me a second. I'd like it to be square, if we could. 71. Oh, this is going to frustrate me no end. This is going to frustrate... So what if we just do it there? There we go. That works. And it gives us space to build something next to it, I suppose, doesn't it? Then we need the schnapps distillery, which we could put right next to it. it sort of fits in there. I'm assuming that is the right um, orientation. It looks right, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. And then they've got the warehouse right there they can use as well. Perfect. We have our first farms going. Excellent. Excellent. Nothing else we can build for the minute. I was just trying to get rid of that with the button press. I don't think there is one. If we look down here, our timber is coming in, our fish are coming in. We don't have any potatoes. Oh, this down here, by the way, is shared between all of the warehouses. So I think when they deposit stuff into this warehouse, it's like a shared infrastructure between all of them. So if someone over here wants to get schnapps when it's in this warehouse, they'll only have to come down to this trading post down here rather than having to go to that specific warehouse. I think that's how it works. We have an insufficient workforce, though. I did say I didn't want the farmers going too close to the farms, but I am going to go... Oh, so I no, I was going to go this way, wasn't I, first? So let's do that. If I do join that up, how much of an impact does that make? Only 2%. Oh, I'm going to join it up then. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> what about if I put that road in across there? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Just so it's all nice and neat. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm a renegade. 
and let's join that up as well. Excellent. Excellent. Things are looking good. So we have a minus 30 uh, workforce at the moment. So we have 27 open jobs. I've been our done by. Oh, these ones were the new ones, weren't they? So yeah, these are still filling up. So we'll just see how they go. They're fish and clothes. We've we got 13 in each now. We've got nine. Ah, because their clothes needs haven't quite been met yet. Because this isn't all working fully. That's fine. But these should be able to get up to like eight or nine. Feels an eternity since the funeral and the car. Oh, Edward. You, you have no idea how much I dislike you, Edward. No idea. Repay me now or sell up. Oh. Oh. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could So we need to build a fire station. Seems quite reasonable, doesn't it? We don't want things to, you know, burst into flames. I'm going to put that right opposite the marketplace, I think. I might put it behind it, actually. Which is the front and which is the back? It's kind of got two. I think, I think that's the front, isn't it? So we'll pop that down there. And it will give that its own road as well, because I think that's reasonable. I didn't want it... So when people arrive from the trading post, I don't want them to be immediately like, Oh, there's a fire, fire station. They must have terrible, terrible safety. We need to build a pub next. We've got... Oh, we've got a small surplus of workforce. This is almost all full, but only six people. So more people should be moving in there. About ten. About 10 at least should be coming in. So that number should be going up. We do need the pub though, obviously. Oh, it doesn't fit in there. That's frustrating. And it doesn't fit in there. I oh, it fits in there, but not there. Why doesn't it fit there? I don't know. So I might put that down there. Because it's not going to fit. I could put it there, I suppose. Next to the marketplace. A bit more central. Yeah, okay. Let's put it up here. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. We can now clear this area, so we should. I don't know if we can you see... This immortal. Where can we see its um, normal productivity 75%? So if we get rid of this, let's see if that gives us more productivity. You can see that it's the trees it's planted are coming in down here. Look, looking beautiful. They came here for salvation and they never did find it. Gives us some extra timber as well, so we'll grab that. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Speak to 80, it's still going up. 88, 89. The rights of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Is there? Oh, Edvard. Seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Edvard, you scallywag. Oh, you Ready dastard. Oh, here we go, here we go. I like that still going up. It's probably going to tap out at 9. Oh, no, it's still going up. 97. So we had to have four schnapps in storage to pay Edvard the clot. And we have four schnapps in storage. Yeah, fine. Take your schnapps and get out of here. Finished, um, let's see how this is doing. 100% print productivity now. Wouldn't expect it to go up to 100%, but there we go. He's now waiting for our work clothes as well. Oh, Edward. And one thing I am going to do is I'm going to say that this can start selling if it hits 65 stock. Just so we don't tap out and stop production because it's got too much stuff in stock. So we'll do that with the wood and the fish. Nothing else is quite going up yet. We do need now need to give Edward our work clothes because we had four in stock. So we're down to five. That's fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thing, thing, thing. Uh, find your cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edward's Great ex Exhibition. Whew. Construction site. Oh, Bright Sands it was called. Bright Sands. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I can see a mob over here. Let's get a little look at this mob. I guess that's our cousin. We're just going to grab him, and the mob's dispersed immediately. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. All right, then. We need to find rioting mobs. Five rioting mobs. There's one. I can hear another one quite close. 
Oh, there they are. There's another rioting mob. In fact, I think that's two right next to each other. They grouped up. Oh, there's another one. I don't know what we're doing with these. Are we going to steal his people? <laughs> there's the fifth one. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. Is he mining those things? He's not, look. He did build a church right next to them. Oh no, it's a large warehouse. Well, that makes more sense. Her second husband was a decent sailor. So what, Bright Sands does kill my uh, frame rate a little bit. It's down to like 20. It was very high in my place, which is slightly less populated. I might have to drop some of the settings down when we get to that. I don't know what I'm doing. Select the editor and his crew at Edwards Harbour. Select the editor's ship at Edwards Harbour, which is just right there. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Well then, let's go. Let's take you back to somewhere in, in much less prosperous, but we don't have Edward to deal with. So, win-win, right? My workers. The Queen's Ambassador. The Queen's Ambassador shall hear of this. You tell the Queen's Ambassador what they're going to do, eh? Well, that's not me. Where are we going? Abduction is a severe accusation. They came willingly, Archibald uh, Blake. If I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. A little sip of we orange, excuse me. Quite willingly. Pencil polishing Popinjay. <clears throat> I should have been rid Pencil of you, polishing uh, Popinjay. <laughs> I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Mm. Sir Archibald, mm. yes. ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Oh, good to meet you, Sir Archibald. Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. Do you maybe want to stop people calling him a traitor, then? The real tragedy. Oh, the real tragedy. Oh, Edward, you clot. Unpaid. While this brat oh. is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. It was his brother's funeral. No How can he not pay his own brother's funeral costs? If I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. That's my cousin. Hey, cuz. Indeed. <clears throat> Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Yeah, we're going to haunt you, Edvard. My frame rate, by the way, is now at 350. <laughs> That's how much difference it is between here and Bright. <laughs> oh, Bright Sands. I laughed so much, I almost gave myself a coffin fit. Wait for Edward to contact you about the debt to get your shipping license. But it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Yeah, of course it would, because it's more money for her, isn't it? So we now have the dusty, dusky hawk flagship. Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard. Don't think there's much we can really do with it at the moment, but there it is. Those workers. Excellent. Let's house those workers. Yes, let's. We need to upgrade to a worker residence. So I did enable this in the option so you can see when a residence or in any building is able to be upgraded. So if we go over to the build menu, we currently have all this available, which is the farmer's build. If we upgrade, hmm. Trying to think how we're going to do this. We'll do the ones near the marketplace. I think that makes more sense. So you can come over here and hit upgrade residence. And it turns from a farmer's residence into a worker's residence? Is that, yeah, a worker's residence. Which gives us this whole new chain of things we can build. And of course, they have more needs. So as well as marketplace, fish and clothes, they also need sausages, bread, soap and school. 
Each production building requires a specific type of workforce. We should always house enough of each to keep our industries running. And obviously, if we upgrade another one, if we upgrade this one, we're on 20 and 10. If we upgrade it, we take 10 out of the farmer workforce and add 20 to the worker workforce. Our publishing house is already well underway. I don't know if it matters if your residences are actually close to production, like if they actually have to travel there to work, or if it's just kind of like assumed that the numbers are okay, and uh, you know these these people walking around are, are largely ornamental. The carts are not; they actually do carry goods back and forth. But I don't know if the people are a bit more ornamental. We can change the name of this, but I'm going to leave it a ditch water for now. I might. Oh no, not. Hill, I was going to call it Hillbilly Heights, but I can't fit in the extra S. Hillbilly Heights. Perfect. <clears throat> There's nothing like naming a town after yourself, is there? So we are going to need some more residences, because we only have a small surplus. We can only build... We cannot build workers' residences. You have to start with farmers and work your way up. Can't quite fit another one in next to it. That's fine. Oh, we could build some down here, couldn't we? Like that. And then fit a road in along the side here. I'm hesitant to go too close to the shore there, because I don't want to impact any other shore-based things we might be creating. Oh, that didn't even build. So maybe we'll just put it there for now. We'll worry about it if we have to extend down there a little bit more. So that gets some more farmers, which means we can, can convert more residences into workers. And when we have more workers, we can start doing more stuff over here. So we have a brick production chain and a sausage production chain. What do we need to do first? We need to clear the abandoned smeltery. And that's over there. So that's on its way out. We need to wait for Edward to contact us about our deck. And we need to get 150 workers in. So we do need to convert some more residences. These should be starting to fill up now. Yes, they are. Excellent. So let's convert a couple more because we're going to start building our sausage um, <clears throat> production chain next, I think. What's this one? The trade union. The abandoned smeltery is on its way. So let's think about what do sausages need? They need a pig farm, which takes a minute and the sausages which take a minute. So this is our sort of farming area over here. So I'm tempted to keep it all over here. Let's stick with dirt roads for now. Uh, so workers, sausages, pig farm. So again, we have the sphere of influence, but we don't have a, uh, a penalty for other buildings encroaching on it. So let's have a little look at the orientation. I think that was right. Yeah, let's pop it down like that. And this needs five pigsties around it. So we could do one there. And then two, three, four. It annoys me they don't fit in nicely. So we could do one, two, three, four, four. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, it, do it does bug me. It does bug me. One, two. Because <laughs> we could do three. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. One, two, three. And then we can go four, five. There we go. I knew there was a way of getting it in there nicely. And then we need a slaughterhouse. Which will pop in right next door again. Because we can't fit it in down there. So we'll pop it in there. Excellent. <clears throat> so when we get our sausage production up and running, that will improve our uh, workers' needs. We could also get bricks going, which take a clay pit and a brick factory. And the clay pit uh, uh, takes 30 seconds to produce clay and one minute to produce bricks. Which means you can have one clay pit and two pit brick factories. Which the game will tell us shortly anyway. Because in one minute, that will create two clay. So we can have a one to two ratio. 
Oh, we don't have enough resources to build that. What do we need? Oh, we need bricks. Oh, oh, we can get some free bricks there. Tell me that's five bricks. Yeah, perfect. So we are going to need bricks to build. I'm guessing not to build the, the clay factory. Now that just needs timber. But the trade union takes bricks and I think everything else is going to take bricks. So we are going to need to get... I suppose that's why we cleared that to get access to that clay deposit, isn't it? So let's put a clay pit in over here. Can't change the orientation. That has to look like that. Uh, we're going to need a road going up here, obviously. So I think we'll extend these two all the way up. <clears throat> Ah, oh, excuse me, I had a brief coffin fit. We have a quest over here. What do you want? Happy as a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Yeah? What's the actual quest? Spare a thought for us. Collect the gift offered by your resident. Not bad for a big boss. Well, that was a nice easy quest. I'm happy with that. I have discovered some efficiencies we ought to address. I am gonna... It's probably silly having a double bridge going on. It's probably quite expensive. We can't even do it. We haven't got the construction material available to us. But we do have a... You can equip items in the trade. We don't even have a trade union yet. Just calm down. And then we can put down two brick factories. As I say, it's a one to two ratio. So we're gonna put two right next to each other. And we're going to need a warehouse up here as well. So I'm going to put a warehouse on the opposite side. And we don't have the timber for any of that. We also need more workers. So for now, I'm going to pause this. Oh, the town don't have a warehouse. It's coming. All right, calm down. It's coming. <clears throat> so we could convert some more of our buildings. We do have enough now without converting any more. In fact, we aren't able to convert more. What's this? The building has been constructed as a blueprint. Yeah, we already sort of looked at that. I don't really talk about it, but if you don't have the resources to build a building when you place it down, it gets put down in ghost mode. And then when you have the resources, you can come over here and hit the blueprint button to actually build it. Can we get rid of this yet? Oh, we are. Excellent. That should give us some timber. If we get rid of that as well. Excellent. We are. Any others scattered around? Yeah, let's go. Oh, there's some train tracks there, look. Haven't noticed that before. That's nice we can get rid of. Yes, and you. I saw you down there. Oh, hello. Oh, just some deer jumping around. That's insanely cute. Insanely cute. Let's check this is uh, that's still on a hundred percent perfect all right excellent give us this timber that'll help out immensely so we can now get these built and we can get this built and we do have a massive drastic uh, shortage of workers again we can somewhat rectify that by changing a couple more of these buildings well, we still have only a 10 surplus of farmers. And, uh, well, we are filling up more as the as their needs are getting met, I guess. And they also have more space available to them as well. And the sausages should be coming in now, which is going to help that as well. But we are going to need some more residences. And we're sort of running out of space down here a bit, aren't we? I don't want to go over this way again because of this. So we might save like this, like another like industrial. This is our farming area, and this is gonna be like an industrial area, maybe, because we do have the iron resources over there. We got that bit of wood there. Got some more there. Got some bricks there. That's lovely. Is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine tuning the first issue as we speak. No, we're gonna go like that. So it matches that road there, and we can also carry on a road along there then as well. And then we'll put some more residences up here. I don't know if this is the most efficient way of doing anything, quite frankly. 
But uh, I'm sure if I looked out, the people would be like, you need to be, do it like this, otherwise your whole thing's going to fall apart. You must build it like this. But uh, we're not quite there. What was this? That's how we get up to the next... Um, not nice enough while still remaining deeply weird. <laughs> we can purchase stuff, but we're not going to. Are we starting to get too much of any other items in? No, not at all. So we don't need to worry about putting sell orders on any of that. We didn't even have enough to uh, build that at the time. Do we need another lumber mill? I feel like we need another lumber mill. <laughs> Let's put another lumber mill in. Or lumberjack's hut, I should say. So I could put that over there, or I could put it like over here. I'm tempted with that option. And we can do that, which is going to slightly impact its productivity, perhaps? Maybe not. And that means we can get another um, sawmill down. Which we can't quite... We could put it in there. Just about fits in there. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's pop that down there. Excellent. That'll hopefully help our... Uh, our lumber problems. Fish is being okay. Workloads are okay. We wouldn't expect to hoard any wood or potatoes or wool because they should all be going straight into the resources, the schnapps and the clothes and the lumber, so that's fine. Same with the uh, pork. And everything else is getting there. So we do need to change some more of these into workers. I don't have a lumber yet. What are you waiting for? You're still planting your forest. Okay. <clears throat> and this is all up and running up here. Missing... Oh, because that's still paused. <laughs> right. Now we should start getting some bricks in. Oh, hello. What's going on there? Oh, they don't use horse and carts. They just carry things like men. So they carry it to the warehouse, and the warehouse carries it to the brick factories. We now have an insufficient workforce. Now we need some more lumber. Give me some more lumber. You reached a new milestone. Oh, we are now a port town. Yay! We do technically have a port. I don't know if we're really utilizing it much, but we do have one. We can also build a trade union and a trip and uh, equip an item at the trade union. You have father's fortitude. Not overly sure what that does. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Um, where is trade union? Oh, it's annoyingly not going to put it over here. It doesn't quite fit in there. Your worthless rags have barely covered and it's everything. square. I could fit it there. It fits there sense. quite nicely, actually. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. <clears throat> oh, I now want sails. Okay. That's fine. So we can select our trade union and equip an item. Affects all clay pits, salt Petum works, sand mines, limestone, oil wells, bauxite, and helium extractors. And gives us in 25% productivity, but an increased production uh, maintenance cost. You restore a grain of my trust in humanity. So if we do that, does that mean the production time's gone down? No, it's still 30 seconds. I'm not sure I understand what difference that makes. Nay no matter! Look how busy this is all looking. Look at this pub! Absolutely bustling. The hustle and bustle. The farmers and the workers get... There's even a band. Oh, that's class. We do need to convert some more of our residences. To even out our workforce a little bit. We are going to need to get some more uh, farmer houses down soon, I think. <clears throat> And then we need to get some sales for Edward. We also have bread. Was bread one of the... It was. It was one of the happiness things. If we get some bread down, we'll get some more workers. Um, what does bread need? Bread uses a grain farm, which produces grain in one minute. A flour mill, which produces flour in 30 seconds.
Right, hang on a second. <laughs> so that was 30 to 1. So we had two brake factories to one clay pit. That's 1 to 30. So we need two grain farms to supply one flour mill. Oh, and then bread's a minute. Right, hang on. So we can have two grain farms supplying one flour mill, and then one flour mill will supply two bakeries, because it's a 30 to 2. A uh, 30 to 1 minute, sorry. It's a 1 to 2 ratio. That's what it was there, right? 30, yeah. Two grain farms, one flour mill, two bakeries. Woo! That probably shouldn't have been that difficult to work out, but that, that hurt my poor little brain. So let's pop this along here. I figure we'll keep this as our, our grain, uh, our farming area. I don't know whether I just want to... I don't know how... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Everything... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's extend this one. To, like, there. Put a grain farm in here. I don't know what the orientation started out as now. I think it was that, wasn't it? Stick with that. That needs 144 tiles. Another coffin fit, excuse me. Um... So not there. Not there. Not there. I suppose I could do it like this. Just put it back. Oh. So that's 144. We could go not that way. We could go that way. So we want to go up more than across, don't we? Yeah, let's put that in there. And then we need another one, which we can fit in there. And we can put this one here, so it just looks like one massive field. Oh, it's a shame it doesn't quite fit in there like that, isn't it? It does go like that, which isn't too bad. Otherwise... Yeah, let's do it like that. I'm okay with that. There's a couple of tiles out that I've missed. Uh, warehouses can be upgraded too. An increased number of loading ramps will reduce transport delays. Okay. Interesting. We do need to get some more houses down. <clears throat> I'm going to do that straight away. I like them all to be in line, so it's going to have to go like that. We had five with an extra space for one at the bottom. So let's actually just put down an extra one. And pop that there. That'll get us some more farmers in, which we need to, uh, to staff all of this. Oh, no, because this is all workers, isn't it? I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm assuming it's workers. Where does it say the actual workforce requirement? Oh, 20. 20 farmers. Farmers, and then that's workers. Okay. So what was it? It was two wheat farms to one flour mill to two bakeries. And they'll all use that warehouse. Okay. Your farmers would like some flour to improve their recipes. As your city grows, your residents will develop lifestyle needs. These are entirely optional, but fulfilling them unlocks unique bonuses. So is that part of the happiness? No? 
Oh, lifestyle needs down here. Flour, sugar, and soap. Oh. Well, I'm using all of my flour to make bread. So be thankful you've got bread, I guess. Uh, we do need some more... We need some more farmers. Have these all started to fill up? Not quite. They're still waiting for their fish. How do we know if we've got enough fish? So as long as we've got a surplus, right? Same with clothes. As long as those numbers are keeping ticking up and we're not running out, <clears throat> we're probably fine. So yeah, that's slowly going up. We do need to get some more converted to... Well, we need a lot more workers, actually. Which means we need more farmers. But these should be starting to fill up more. There's four in there at the minute. They should increase to ten when they're good and ready. Should we build some residences up here? Because like, like I say, I've not seen anyone use this road, so I don't think people technically need to leave their residence to get to uh, work sites, which is useful because there's, there's a hell of a journey to get up there. <clears throat> we can convert another one to help out our workforce. So the marketplace needs have all been met now, and we're starting to get the fish and... Um, Clothes done as well. So that'll keep on ticking up slowly. Is it worth building some more? I could stick some more in here, couldn't I? Oh, I can actually fit in. Oh, it fits so nicely. I'm so happy. <clears throat> And once, yeah, that's starting to go up a bit more, so let's convert some more of these. We haven't got the lumber for it. Because we're building so many houses, we're running out of lumber. Well, that should go up relatively quickly. Let's speed everything up a little bit. And that gives us enough, so now we have our balanced workforce. We have enough workers for each building. So what do we need? Let's slow it all down again. What do we need for sales? We haven't got a church yet. Do we want a church? Who... Where does the church need come from? Oh, it's a happiness requirement. What does the church need to build? Just four lumber. <clears throat> it's a shame it doesn't fit in there. So let's put the church in... Let's put it there. Like that. And then we can give it some space on either side. <clears throat> There's three tiles there. So we can give it three tiles there and three tiles. Some tiles behind it as well. One, two, three. Let's give it a bit of space. We'll make it look a little nicer. We could even look at doing some decorative options, couldn't we? We do have access to parks and shrubs and wells and stuff. Okay. Yeah, maybe we could put some stuff in down here. It does cost money. We do look like we're just about making money at the moment. Just about. Oh, we have another quest. Fancy making A while the sun shines, master. Fancy making A while the sun shines. Me livestock, ups are fun, were well, fun of me when I told them they were up to summit. They all ran away. Our living depends on them. Find them, please. What? Please, couldn't muck me out, could you? Find and collect the farm animals. Give us a clue. Oh, there they are. We'll gather and toast your ass. <clears throat> oh, that needs 25 bricks as well. I didn't realise that needed bricks as well. Is there anything else we can dismantle that might get us some bricks? Let's get that going. We have lots and lots of workforce now. We should probably start thinking about doing the actual sales, shouldn't we? So what do sales look like? Uh, sheep farm, 30 seconds. Sales, 30 seconds. A nice one-to-one. -one. Perfect.
I put that there, but it, I probably actually want to put it down here, don't I? With our little collection of farms down here. If you can hear the cat, I apologise. She is moaning. She has been fed. She's pretending that she hasn't eaten for 400 years. She has definitely been fed. <clears throat> have we already? Yeah, we have already got a sheep farm. I wonder if it's going to be a new exciting thing. But no, we do already have a sheep farm. And then we need sails, which we can put in over here. What does this look like? I like it oriented that way. We'll go with that way, I think. <clears throat> so they'll start coming in. We have another Grease resident the quest. Wheels, Grease the wheels, governor! The community could use some bonding. Help me organize a good old-fashioned barbecue, yes? Just get the sausages and bread and I'll take care of the rest. Good times. Could they be we need 12 better? sausages and 12 bread. How are we doing for that? 17 sausages, 2 bread. Well, we've got half hour. Shall I, is it worth building? No, because you have to do two wheat farms and a win and then two. We've got two bakeries going, so we should be all right. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. See if we get there in time. Um, Do we want to convert these into workers? Or should we just go for like these now near the church? And these can be like our rural farmers to take care of the farms. Same with these. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> we'll just do four for the minute. Just balance out the numbers a bit. Sales should be on their way to fulfill Edward's dastardly request. Oh, so we could upgrade uh, warehouses, didn't it? So this warehouse over... Where is it? This one? Yeah, this one's probably the one of the more important to upgrade because it's got bakeries and sales. No warehouse in range. It's right there, mate. It? It's a surprising but I can't upgrade it because we need 20 bricks. Why don't I have 20? What did I use? Oh, I probably use bricks to upgrade, do you? No, you just use lumber. What did I use bricks to build? Maybe something to do with this? I use 10 bricks for the sail makers. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like we need another warehouse, slightly annoyingly. I was wondering if upgrading the warehouse would increase its range. It just says loading ramps, though. Okay. Alright. So we'll put another warehouse in and we'll put it over here. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> Are you happy now? You've got your warehouse. What is this? Oh, that's ready to upgrade. Oh, so we can upgrade this one. I don't think we need to upgrade that one because there's actually not a lot nearby it. We've got a warehouse here, which just does pretty much the two logging camps. This one does all of this. And this one is going to help out with all that as well. Just realised that that road isn't connected there. That doesn't. That's why the warehouse wasn't in range. So we don't actually need that one. Tempted to get rid of it. We're doing, we've got nine bread. It was bread we needed, wasn't it? Bread and sausages. So we're getting there with bread. We should definitely get there within the time limit. Although we have been recording for about an hour now, so we do actually need to think about stopping at some point soon. Um, we could think about getting the church done, which needed 25 bricks. Yeah, maybe when we get the church done, we'll do this quest and the church and see if we can get the sales done as well, because they're coming in. Three sails, nine bread. Let's speed everything up a little. 25 bricks, four sails, 12 bread we need. We got the four sails. Where are my sails? Where are my sails? I want my sails. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Get out of my town. Get out of Hillbilly Height. 
haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Oh, absolutely, Andrew. I'll definitely do that. Uh, use a ship to rescue... Wrong button. To rescue a group of castaways. Which are over here. I was about to say, uh, do I have a ship? But I do, don't I? I have this one here. The Dusky Hawk. Right, you, you start sailing over there. Choo choo. That's the noise that ships make. We have 24 bricks. How are we doing in terms of bread? 11 bread. We're close. We're close. Let's hear it then. Oh, I'll see you right then. There you go. Have your sausages and bread. Enjoy A your barbecue. Love is all we ever wanted. Well, you got it. Did we just get a quarryman for that? What does a quarryman do? What is this? Oh, that's the population. Oh, so that's when we get to the next uh, upgrade from a quaint port town, I guess. Oh, no, because that will upgrade us from a port town to something else, and that will upgrade us from quaint to something else again. So we do need to get some attractiveness down, because I don't think our attractiveness is really going up very much. We have enough bricks to do the church. I'm just seeing if we're filling up on anything that we need to worry about maybe selling off. But no, these two are the only two that get anywhere near. And we're happy to sell off our excess, make a little bit of money. We are just about making money if we don't do anything. So, let's grab the stowaways and, what was it, a, a sealed document. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? I... I don't know. Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. He is a dastardly clot, I think you'll find. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Well, no, because you won't lift the debt. A might doesn't do anything for me, and screw you, you're a the letter. pleb. He's clearly up to no good. I, yeah, I think I will, but we'll save that till next time, so we can either bring Edward's However political prisoners to Eli Bleakworth... Edward, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. It's true, but do I care? Or we can open the sealed document. But for now, we are going to build the church. Da -da -da -da! Did that increase this at all? Not at all. How does a church not increase the prettiness of stuff? So that will... Excuse me. That will help our... Um, the happiness of our workers. They now have a church up here they can go to should they wish to. Oh, and people are... Oh, they didn't go to it, but it is emptying out. So all the uh, church workers. Excellent. We have lots of excess people. We have got a lot of production going. It's not... When I... Compared to my other one, it's definitely looking better. But when I started this, I was like, I'm going to spread everything out really nicely and not have it all too cramped up. And it's all very cramped over here. But I am liking we've got like a little farm area. A little bit of industry, but we're only talking like sail makers and bakeries. So it's nothing like it's polluting the fields or anything. Logging over here. Clay brickworks up here. I was going to think about upgrading one of the warehouses before we finish, but it's going to take 20 bricks, and we do not have 20 bricks. I feel like we could definitely do... Oh, let's grab all this. Definitely do with more bricks, but the next one's over there. There's another one there as well. Maybe next time we'll think about getting another brickworks down. Because it does appear to be hampering us somewhat, doesn't it? Anyway, let's finish up then. So, Anno 1800. I am loving this game. I am enjoying it so, so much. Hope you're enjoying it as well. If you did enjoy that, hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. That would all be wonderful. I do stream on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Come along and say hello. We're currently streaming Pal World, so we're having a lot of fun uh, with our indentured servitude of pals. Not slaves. Very careful not to call them that, even though everyone else does. We don't do that. It's just indentured servitude, and they work until they pay off their debt, which they can never do. So... That makes perfect sense. All good. Hopefully I'll see you on the stream. If I don't see you there, I will see you next time in Anno 1800. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.